Ladies and gentlemen, your host for the 66th Annual Academy Awards, Whoopi Goldberg. Welcome to Oscar 66. So they went and gave me a live microphone for three hours. <laughs> there haven't been this many showbiz executives so nervous sweating over one woman since Heidi Flies, honey. <laughs> yeah. You know, sure, unsure. <laughs> Billy Crystal, thank you. Billy Crystal used to have a terrific way to open the show, you know? He'd come out and he'd do a bunch of cute, funny songs about the nominated movies. He got the crying game, I got Schindler's List. <laughs> Billy knew when to leave. So, welcome to Hollywood's biggest night. This year we discover if Oscar's last name really is Schindler. There are a few different things this year. The Academy had to tighten its belt, you know, so instead of having an army of security guards, they hired Jack Nicholson and James Caan. <laughs> I mean, come on, Jack Nicholson and Jimmy Caan is strange behavior from two guys who don't even have a rap album to promote. <laughs> you know, like I said, things are a little different. The host is wearing a dress. Yes, yes. Yeah. And that is a first. So let me spare you the drama about the dress, darling, but thank God for Ray Aguillon. You know what I'm saying? I was walking around the house in this dress for six weeks because I know at least a half a million people are watching just to see what everybody's got on. And yes, please take note that Debbie Allen is wearing the same color and same fabric as I am. But she has a blessed trait. And what? A breastplate. Stand up, Miss Thing. Where are you? Stand up so they know, Debbie. You know, so those slings and arrows that you got, they pop right off. <laughs> but you'll note that I went for the train. Normally, I don't do trains, but honey, it's the Oscars. <laughs> and I want to put a rumor to rest. I did not get this gig because I'm Sidney Poitier's daughter. <laughs> you know. There's been a lot of speculation. I got it because I seem to cross so many ethnic and political lines. I'm an equal opportunity offender. <laughs> and to make sure that you don't feel shortchanged in the political soapbox department, I'm gonna get it all out of my system right now. Save the whales, save the spotted owl. Gay rights, men's rights, women's rights, human rights, feed the homeless, more gun control, free the Chinese dissidents, peace in Bosnia, healthcare reform, choose choice, act up, more AIDS research, let Frank Sinatra finish. Look. <laughs> Lorena Bobbitt, please meet Bob Dole. Can somebody stop these damn earthquakes? Thank you. You know. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I think I took care of everything, didn't I? Including my career. Anyway, tonight we gathered to honor Hollywood's best, which is also the world's best. People came from all over the world to make movies, and those movies are seen all over the world. We live in a global multiplex. The movies this year covered oppression, abuse, revolution, people being wrongly accused, people being tortured, people fleeing for their lives, and that was just what's love got to do with it. You know? And there were so many terrific movies this year, you know? Pictures with a strong social message, like Six Degrees of Separation, which turned out to be the drawing instructions for Jessica Rabbit's legs. 
That's why they hired me, honey. <laughs> and we can't forget Jurassic Park, the story of what happens when you build an amusement park and everything goes wrong. The original title was Euro Disney. And that's one real estate fiasco they cannot blame on Hillary. <laughs> you know? As usual, there were not enough good roles for women this year, but this time we can blame it on Holly Hunter and Emma Thompson. <laughs> no, it's true, because they found all the good roles and played all of them. <laughs> but that's cool, because neither one of them was in one of the biggest hits of the year, The Fugitive, a thriller about a person who spent days and days, <laughs> yes, and days and days running just one step ahead of the law. But enough about Tanya Harding. <laughs> now I know you nominees are sitting out there and you're, you're nervous and you're sweaty. I've been there, baby. Relax. This is magic night. This is Oscar night and the world is watching. So I know I'm gonna hurry up because I know people at parties at bars and stuff and they put their money into that pool and they're clutching those bouts and move along, whoop. <laughs> so that's exactly what I'm going to do, okay? Let's get to it.